All right, so we're doing damped functions again. This time we're doing uh, integration of a damped function. Um, just straight into an example. Um, the integral between c and 0, so this isn't going to give us an answer. It's just going to give us a, a, a value with c in it. Uh, e to the negative x sine 2x uh, with respect to x. So first step, let's find the integral first, the indefinite integral. So I'm just going to let the indefinite integral equal i. So i is going to be equal to the indefinite integral of e to the negative x sine 2x with respect to x. Now, uh, you need to decide how you're going to integrate that. Um, we've got a function here multiplied by another function. Uh, looks like it's pretty ripe here for a, an integration by parts. So we'll make this one u, we'll make this one v dash, and we'll work from there. All right, let's make your life easier. Let's make uh, this v dash and let's make that u. It's going to work out much nicer. All right, so there's my little scrap bit of working, u, u dash, v, v dash. Uh, now we can say that the integral is equal to u, v minus the integral of v, u dash uh, with respect to x. And then let's just put in all of our values here and keep working. All right, so there's my, uh, my, all of that substituted into our formula. Now, important, u is sine 2x and negative e to the negative x is v. I've just swapped them around just to make it a nice, neat function. Minus the integral of negative e, negative x times 2 cos 2x with respect to x. Um, now, that 2, uh, because it's... Uh, it's just a multiplier, we can take it outside of our integration, we can put the 2 here. So important to note here, now we've finished that, I said I was going to bring the 2 out, and I have brought the 2 out, but I haven't just brought the 2 out, I've also brought out a negative 1 here. So it, what I've really done is bring out negative 2, uh, which turned that negative into, into a positive. So I brought the 2 out, brought the negative out, and this is what we've ended up with. Uh, i equals uh, negative e to the negative x sine 2x plus 2 times the integral of e to the negative x cos 2x with respect to x. Still got an integral in here, and it's an integral of a function multiplied by a function. Uh, so it looks like we've got another integration by parts to work with. So we'll let that be u, we'll let that be v dash. Uh, I'll do a little bit of chicken scratch, this time in, in green pen, and then we'll keep working. Alright, so here's my, my chicken scratch here. Cos 2x, u dash is negative 2 sine 2x, etc, etc. Uh, now, we need to work with this little bit here. So, I'm just going to label, I'm just going to label this equation 1. And we're going to leave equation 1 there. And we're just going to work on this integral here. And we're going to work on it by using our integration by parts formula. So, I'm going to substitute all of this into my integration by parts formula. We'll see where we end up. All right, so here we have our next bit. We're saying that this integral, the integral of e to the negative x cos 2x with respect to x, so this bit here, is equal to uh, u v minus the integral of um, v u dash. Um, now, we've got a negative 2 here, and we've got a negative 1 here. Uh, that means that we can bring out a negative 2 times negative 1, we can bring out positive 2 here. Uh, so that negative times positive 2, that's just going to be negative 2, and we can get rid of that, and we can get rid of this. All right, so we'll just neaten that up slightly. Alright, so now that it's neatened up a little bit, uh, there's something, there's a trick here. Uh, you can see the integral of e to the negative x sine 2x with respect to x, uh, now, i is equal to the integral of e to the negative x sine 2x with respect to x. So I'm just going to replace all of that with the letter i in our next step here. So the integral of e to the negative x cos 2x with respect to x will be equal to that minus 2i. So it might feel like we're going around in circles at the moment, and we sort of are, uh, but what we've got is equation one, where we got all the way down to here and we said, 
Equation 1, i equals all of this plus 2 times the integral of e to the negative x cos 2x with respect to x. And now we know that the integral of e to the negative x cos 2x with respect to x is equal to negative e to the negative x cos 2x minus 2i. So we can take that and put it in here, and all of a sudden we've got no integrals anymore. So we've got i equals that plus this which has an i in it as well. All right, so I'm going to take this, I'm going to sub it in here, and we'll see how we look. All right, so now, getting pretty close, i is equal to this plus 2 times this minus this. So I can expand that, I can put the 2 here, and I can put the 2 here, and we're going to have an equation that we can solve, or we can find an expression for i. So now we have i equals all of this rubbish minus 4i, and I can now group all of my i's together to make a 5i. I can say that 5i equals negative e to the negative x sine 2x minus 2e to the negative x cos 2x. And I don't want to know 5i, I'd much prefer to just know i, because if I know i, I know the integral of that. So now I know that i is equal to 1 fifth of all of this, all of that nonsense there. All right, so now we have, I'll just rearrange this a little bit. I took out e, as a, e to the x as a, sorry, e to the negative x as a common factor, uh, also negative one as a common factor. So what we ended up with is negative one fifth e to the negative x, sine two x minus cos two x. That's what i is. Uh, now, this wasn't the question though. The question was uh, the, find the integral between c and 0 of e to the negative x sine 2x with respect to x. Now, because we now know what i is, uh, we can substitute in c and 0 to get our answer. Uh, so, the integral between c and 0 uh, of that e to the negative x sine 2x with respect to x is going to be equal to c substituted into that minus zero substituted into that a little bit of work all right here we go the integral between c and zero of our original function is equal to one fifth e to the negative c sine 2c minus cos 2c minus subbing in zero here now if we sub in zero there i'll just focus on that bit for now we end up with uh, negative one fifth uh, sine 0 is 0 minus cos uh, 2 times 0 is 1. I think. Did I miss something? I did miss something. There's a 2 there, isn't there? Forgot that 2 here. Alright, so there's a 2 there, which means there's a 2 here. Uh, which means that that's negative 1 fifth uh, times 0 times 2 which is negative two-fifths there. And finally, from there, I can just rewrite that in terms of C, um, add on this, which is just going to be a number, and we are done. And this is where it finishes up at. Negative one-fifth e to the negative C, uh, sine 2C plus 2 cos 2C, oops, there was a 2 there, plus all of this, which is two-fifths. All right, as you can see, a lot, a lot of work to do um, there. There is a small shortcut that we can do somewhere in here, which we'll talk about, uh, but that's where it's at.